every time, Gale. Shush. Shush your mouth. Hey everybody and welcome back to Teal'c's Adventures in Dark Souls. When we last left off we uh, pretty much cleared this area out and we were going to continue on with Patches' quest. So if you remember Patches was dressed up as Sigurd and tricked us into going for some treasure. So it begs the question, if Patches is wearing Sigurd's armour, where exactly is Sigurd? Uh, it appears he's in a well. Oh, I know that voice. Just how long has it been? It's me, Siegfried of Katarina. I'm loath to admit it, but I've been had. Someone's swiped my armor. Did you happen to see it anywhere? We haven't seen it. Well, technically we have, but... Yes. I see. Not to worry. An old tenant of the... And I... <laughs> good to be in good spirits. So, we know who has his armor. It's Patches. And now we can go and also do that other section that I said. I'm not sure if we, if we do it now, it will interrupt the quest or not. And uh, you may... See why, although it might not occur, I can't remember the order. Anyway, whatever, let's go and do it. So, there was a door, I believe it was this way. It wasn't this way, it was this way. Um, after we unlock the shortcut, there's a door to a shortcut and door to another elevator. If we go up that elevator, that takes us to a potential secret area. We explore the secret area. If Patches is still there, then we can uh, have a natter with him. If not, then. We're kind of done for now, and it's us against the boss of the area, who should be Eldritch. Hello. Sorry, buddy, but you were kind of asking for it. So we go out of this door here, look, and that's where the arch was that shot down on us. Remember, because there's a guy that's asleep down there, um, and then that's like the main entrance over there, and that's the arch's tower. Wait, the actress tower should be... Should be over there, I think. Oh, no, there it is. So I think we can actually see the archer from here. Is that the... I can't tell. I do have my binoculars, don't I? Hang on. Let's have a look at these. Not the best. I think that might be him, actually. Up the ladder, and this is uh, where the secret stuff begins. There is a man up here, and killing him gets us a ring. Uh, a ring of absolutely no importance to us because it just increases our attunement slots. And attunement slots are how many magic spells you have. At the moment, we only have Fireball, and well, that's all we need. There is the deep ring, the ring of the deep. And then this normally you'd be here and think, oh, well, we're done. No, you can actually take a cheeky jump out of here onto this. And this is where the secret really begins. So we were down there before, look. Working our way through. We're on the upper um, tenements. How did you hurt me? Alright, we do need to be careful here because there are lots of those thralls, but also big men. Now these big men. Ah, oh, bad timing. Bad timing. Very bad timing. I haven't played in like four days. Let's see, just forgive me for not being completely fresh as a daisy. Now again, I could run at him, but there will be thralls around. There he is. Just gotta take your time here is all. That's it, come over here. What are you shoving? He shoved me. Did very little damage, but I not want to be shoved. Now I believe there is a, a way down somewhere around here, and that takes us to a heavy crossbow. And I'm sure there's a thrall around here. 
Oh! You made me jump! Actually... Made me jump there. That scared me so much. I knew he was around here somewhere. Oh, my heartbeat. That's not good for me. Bye. Oh, I didn't land. Is there not... Then what's the point in coming down here? I could have sworn you came here and you got like a heavy crossbow. I have... No idea. Is there another guy who climbs up? No. I'm genuinely... Oh wait, maybe it's this one. It'll be this one. Alright, I know you're around here somewhere. I know you're around here. There's the arbalest. Unfortunately, we do already have one, so it's uh, kind of redundant at this point, but... Oof. The running poke is actually a lot more powerful than I thought it was. We can one-shot these guys now. Again, I think there isn't one around here. How did that miss? And another pale tongue. I knew you were there. Stop it. Right, now we drink. Now, there are a couple of ways in, I believe. There's one. I think there's another one down there. So this is where things could get very deadly very quickly. Because if we fall from these rooftops, we are going all the way to the bottom, which is death. Now there are frawls up here, I like to have blow darts. I can't see where he is, so I'm backing up. I like to have blow darts. Uh, and there are also cathedral knights with a giant grit swords up here. So it's awkward because you can't really roll around and dodge very well. Because if you try to dodge, you're going to go off the edge. That's the first area we want to go to. The treasure here is of no real importance to us. Don't know how we missed. Like I said, the treasure here is no real importance, but it's, uh... It's something we want. Now, this might be awkward. I haven't fought one of these guys in a while. Get him. No, that should have been a backstab. I should have been better than that. There we go. Actually, I'm a little bit rusty. I haven't played in a few days. Drop me something. Anything. I don't care. Thank you. Titanite Shard. Uh, it doesn't really help me. Blessed Gem. Oh, if only we could enchant our Pyromancy Glove. Come in handy. So, Blessed Gem um, basically makes your weapon scale with faith, but also gives it a nice benefit in that it slowly regenerates your HP. We are not a faith based build, and the HP regen is not particularly anything amazing. So, really, you sort of like, oh no! You stick it on a shield or something to. Uh oh. Is he still coming? He's still coming. If you're gonna fight me, I'm fighting you on this piece of solid land. Oh my god, I can't see anything. That was horrible timing. Back up. Drink a drink. Don't take chances! Oh! Goodness! There we go. That should have been backed up! Roll away. Roll away. Don't roll off the edge. This guy's been a cheeky, cheeky one, isn't he? I cannot get a backstab on this guy. Tearing from my Estus as well, which is not good. No! We can do this. Even if it takes us all of our Estus. Oh. 
Honestly, the only thing I'm worried about, aside from falling off, is if we get invaded here. Although, if we do get invaded, it might take the invader a while to find us. Unless they spawn up here, which I don't think they can. I'm honestly not sure. Right, there's one more cathedral night, and there is uh, a couple more thralls, I think. Although, I don't think there's any reason to go over here near this night. Well, they see me, and I can hear someone spitting off run. Yep, I can hear those. I don't know where you are, though. Where is it? Oh, it was him! I thought there was a thrall. Don't shoot me. Pull it on this. Oh, that's me. Got done. Yep. Bye! Doosh. Shut you. I swear I will stab you. I I will. I, yeah, you better gasp in terror. Um, I should not have tried to fight that guy. Absolutely not. It was stupid of me to fight a guy with a tower shield on a ledger. I couldn't roll past him. I was hoping that I could get into block, in which case I could get the... Um, is it riposte? I can't, no, it's not. I don't know what it's called. Anyway, when you break their guard and then... Uh, Form like a front backstab, front stab. I was going to try and do that, but he wouldn't do it, and then he uh, shield bashed me, and then I panicked and rolled away. Oh well, the one benefit of dying is we're not going to get invaded. No, one downside though is we have to go for all that crap again. Which is, you know, not the best. Not the best at all. Also, our HP is lower. Ugh. Had enough of you guys. Right, we'll fight this big guy. Camera. That's my fault. Right, that's fine. Go in here. Nope. I could have sworn there was more than one entrance. That was just not even funny. That is also not funny. As is that not being funny. Scumbag. I can go through all my. Estus. Yeah, right, here we go. Right, our souls should just be over here. Again, though, we should probably take down these guys. Yeah, if we can. If we can muster up the strength to... No! I'm gonna... Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! My God, he's annoying. <sighs> this is the most we've died in a long time. And that's saying something because we've only died twice. That's all we're going to die this time. I hate those rafters. Now, we, we did lose about 5,000 souls. Which, it's not a huge amount, but it does kind of hurt me at this point. Because I need a lot of souls. Because pretty soon, in order to continue uh, patches and secrets quest lines, I need around 35,000 souls. And losing them is not going to help. So my hope is that once we beat the boss of the area, which should be Eldritch, we might get close to, I think we get 10k from the boss, and then I think we'll also get 10k if we pop their soul rather than using it to transmogrify. Why do I keep trying to do that? I know this guy's got 
more poise than he looks like he's got. I keep trying to do it anyway. That's fine, I'll drink all this Estus. I don't need this Estus. That should absolutely have knocked him over. Ah! Ah! Gotcha! Some more. I'll show you some more. Get you one of these. Can't poise through that one. Right, we'll try. We'll try this again. Do you remember when I said I hadn't played in a few days and I was rusty, but then I still did okay. And then when I felt more confident in myself, that's when I died. That's the that's the one piece of advice, kids. Never believe in yourself. Only makes you fall off rafters. You still coming? I could ain't chasing me. Oh, he fell off. If <laughs> we get this guy to do the same, I'd be pretty much happy. I did not see him fire that bow. Some of these. Oh, he's blocking. That's what I wanted. One of these. One of these. Oh no! But those landmines, when they detonated, they used to do so much damage. But now they don't. I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, that's you're fine, but just come on, yeah, that's fine. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Not, you're not exactly perfect, but get him. That should have been back up. Heavy crossbow. I don't care. Right, I want to know why exactly I killed that guy. What even was over here that was worth doing that? Because I'm pretty sure there's nothing. Yeah, there's, there's no. I had no reason to fight that guy the first time around. So I don't know why I did. Right, we have three and a half thousand souls, which is fine. Right, so this is where the secret comes in. Uh, the, the next level secret. What you need to do is you need to jump off of here and land in like a wooden box down here. Right, this is right, right? I'm looking at the wrong spot. Or maybe you land on that, yeah, you land on that ledge and then from there you go into a wooden box. So you take a bit of damage and then over here it's a little wooden box look. And look at that for a tricky secret. It took me the longest time to figure this out. And I actually figured this out backwards. So let's just kill this guy shooting Joe Biden tridents at me. So I figured this out backwards because this is the bridge we ran across that's longer there when Patches lowered it. So what I did was, when I was a phantom in somebody else's game, phantoms don't trigger cutscenes. So I ran across this and it didn't get lowered. And then once I was across here, I was able to figure out exactly what I was supposed to be doing. Um, otherwise, I don't think I would have figured it out. Anyway, here's Patches. Look, he's surprised to see us coming across the bridge. Ah, huh? y yes. Hello. Oh, I don't believe we've met. I'm Patches. Unbreakable Patches. Got my spear in his throat. You seem to be unkindled. Do you have business with me? You know who I am. Ah. Oh, oh, yes. Of course. It's coming back to me now. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was my hand, as you know. But but the deed, well, that was the armor's doing. Regrettable, truly. But behold, I'm stripped clean of that unruly attire. And look at you. Not a scratch. All's well that ends well, right? Yes, we'll be fine. I can tell. It's that rotten curse. It is. The untidy mess. <laughs> Yeah, got a gesture. Oh, uh, uh, yes. Now, it wasn't me, but, but but you still deserve an apology. Just a little trinket. Go ahead. It's yours now. Thank you. <laughs> you 
should know, I'm a kind of uh, traveling merchant. If you're as unkindled as you look, you'll find plenty of good stuff. Right, so it's from patch uh, from patches that we can buy Sigurd's armor, and as you can see, uh, it's a little bit expensive. We can't really afford it. Um, so that's unfortunate. Yeah, we could potentially sell him some stuff, but I don't think we can. I mean, we can, but I don't think we've got anyone near enough. We need to sell thirty embers. I could sell some of these gems that we don't need, but. There's no we're going to make enough money. So I know what you're thinking. Why do you need 30,000 when his armor set would only cost a total of uh, 6,500, 11,000, uh, Well, that's because we need another 20,000 for something else. Because, uh, you know, coming here all the time to buy stuff from him, it's a bit of, a, bit of an ache. Can't find anything you like. Nah. Well, good. you could try looking a little harder. Shh, I'm explaining. So basically, he's going to move, and to go to him next time, it's going to cost us twenty thousand to find him. Oh, yeah, come. Yeah. So we're we're, we're done here. But you know what? We can always go through here. So, see on the wall there, there's a little what they call grubs. That is what dropped down uh, when the giant was uh, when I was fighting the giant, and the giant killed it, which is pretty cool. Right, so we're going up where there's a million more of these grubs all over the ceiling, look. Right, you stop with your Joe Biden tridents. Stop it. Oh, they all come up. Don't do this to me. Go. Oh no! Mac and cheese! Get that mac and cheese right off. Look at this big pile of mess. Gross. And there's this one over here who is not friendly, but just isn't aggroed. And that symbol there is for Rosaria's fingers. I've never noticed that's a little. Hey. Never noticed that's a little man on it though, clinging on for desperate. Oh, there's two men in fact. Like one helping the other one to stand up and grab to the top. It's pretty cool. Um. Sorry, buddy. I wouldn't do this, but I need the souls. So the red sign stops up, so if you want to do some uh, honor jewels. And through here is the secret covenant of Rosaria's fingers. There should also be uh, some stuff, Xanthus stuff in here. Because we beat Heisel. And that should be up there. And there's a bonfire too. Give me that. Bonfire. And then we get this, which is the... Oh, it's the... It's Kirk stuff, because we beat Kirk. So you know what? Maybe, maybe does any of that armor go with us? Do the gloves? Not really. I imagine they're probably better than what we're wearing. And then, what about the pants? I think the pants look actually really cool. So, hmm, do I want to wear them? No, Teal would never wear these things. Give me my cleric pants back and give me my, I don't know, those I guess. So our weight is at 52, which actually seems incredibly heavy. I think it's this 8.8 .8 is pretty heavy, right? Yeah. It's like a medium armor. Which is surprising because it's just chainmail. I'm glad I kept this torch equipped. Right, let's talk to Rosaria. Now, Rosaria. Oh, uh, should we? I, um, there's a thing it can mess up a quest line with Cirrus. I think that's only if we give a pale tongue to Rosaria. But Rosaria's covenant's pretty cool because it lets you respec. So if I want to change my skills, I can. I'm trying to get a good view on Rosaria. I'll use my binocular gogs. So that's Rosaria, and uh, she's currently like taking care of this poor little man grub. That's not actually part of her. And she's got some long toes. And long fingers. 
Maybe that's why she went with long finger care. Maybe that's why she's called Rosario's fingers. Um, anyway, yeah, we'll talk to her. We give her pale tongues for advancing her quest in her covenant, but we can also give her pale tongues to respec. Now we've got to stand a little bit back. There we go. Join the covenant. Hello. Right, so as long as we don't do any of these, we're fine. Yeah, leave. I'm going back in time one. So we're not in our covenant, we just can equip the covenant thing, which we're not going to do. Right, uh, from here we need to go fight the boss. So it's back to the cleansing chapel. Off we go. You don't even start me off, buddy. Right, so to get to the bosses, we go through a shortcut, our very first shortcut, because we opened up a secondary shortcut at that shortcut, which takes us very close to the boss. In fact, we can get to the boss without fighting a single thing, if we wish. Uh, we will, however, fight the mac and cheese men, because they're super easy and give, you know, a decent amount of souls. And, like I say, we do need a few. So the boss we're going to fight is... Well done, camera. I'm going to take care of this guy before I start talking about the boss. 600, not bad. The boss we're going to fight is the easiest boss in the game by far. By 100,000 miles. Ridiculous as it easy. And if I die to it, I'm going to look like a giant scrub. And that's where I'm worried, because I think I may die. Because while this boss is super easy, it's actually the opposite of that four-hour build. As you can tell, we are very much, with our spear, a single target attacker. And we might be able to get a group if we do like a power sw swing like that. But it's going to be awkward. Now why is that awkward, you say? Well, because the boss is not one singular boss, but actually about 30 of them. And... It's not about hating all of them, it's about hating one particular one, and the one particular one we have to hurt changes every so often. So, as you know, we're here to fight Aldrich. However, uh, it turns out Aldrich isn't actually here, he's been moved. In his place are the Deacons of the Deep. You know all these little men we've been fighting? That aren't that difficult, the little cleric guys? Um, but there's like 30 of them in there, and they keep respawning over and over and over. And that wouldn't be that big of a problem, but you have to target one specific one in the middle of a crowd of them. And that's a bit difficult. Now, I'm pretty sure I can summon Henri for this fight, but I'm not going to. Oh, here we go. This is going to be really awkward. So the one we have to fight is one that gets possessed by, like, the spirit. That one there, look. So if you run in and just do that, done. Where's the spirit gone now? It's gone into this guy, this tall guy at the back. Come on, one more. One more. One more. Don't kick him. Roll out. As you can see, having a single target attack is very difficult when you're working your way for a group. Okay. Where did it go? Where did it go? It's over here. Alright, I think that might be the best thing we can do is like do our charge up sweep. But the problem is if we get hit by stuff, it interrupts us. Alright, not doing too bad. Now, the hard part is going to come shortly when uh, the actual Pope comes out. And the pup, here he is. Once the pup is out, we are in a bit of a, an issue because we're timed, basically. Because if we don't do it quickly, uh, we get cursed. As you know, curse is basically an instant death thing for us. It's a death sentence. Oh, I can't stand up. Too much wrath of the gods. Or force, whatever it is. No, they're doing the thing. Stop it. Stop it. 
Stop this. No, no, it's so close. I'm a scrub. I admit it. I will murder you. Shut up. Please stop. That's all I've been saying to you for the longest freaking you, time. Please stop. That's all I've been asking for him is to stop. My God. Right. So I died, uh, mainly due to panic, and I think we might be okay. My actual charged um, swing is fairly decent. More so than I thought. We just made 600 souls from something. Oh, come on. Get it. Don't kick it. Jeez. Yeah, we, uh, this charge attack here is actually really good at wiping out groups. The issue is if I get hit while I'm doing that, it knocks me out of it. So... That's awkward when there's a lot of them trying to attack me. Now, did you see the giant black orbs I'm producing? If I let them continue and craft that spell, uh, it's big game over basically because the area just fills with curse and I'm dead instantly. Nothing I can do about it. Which is why I kind of panicked and didn't run away. Notice when I was low on health, I didn't run away to heal and then come back. Because I was so focused on actually making sure I stopped them from doing that ritual. But you know in hindsight, I think we might have been okay. And going into this again, I think we'll be okay. I really do. And we do have 6,000 souls sitting on the ground. We've got 1,000 souls on us. And we can get maybe like 20k more souls out of this. Maybe. For beating them and then also doing the... Using their soul. So I think we might be okay for souls, actually. Well, a little bit. Oh, I could pop an ember to make the fight easier, but I'm not going to. We don't need any help. Not with these stinking deacons. Stinking deacons. Let's get our bums down here. Right. Here we go. Remember, things don't get too tricky until the Pope comes out. And I can't get rid of all of these guys. So you're thinking, you know, just finish them all off so there's no one to defend the pup. It's not going to work. They just keep spawning in. There'll always be a large amount of them. Right, it's a tall man. With more health than the average random scrub. First hit of the fight, that's fine. I know it looks like we're thinning out their numbers, but hey, wait, what? Is this the pup? No. Also, the pup is immortal when he comes out the ground, but his followers, it seems, are not. So, I might try to wipe out his followers. Really? Come on, guys. Right, these big fat ones uh, are the ones that do Wrath of the Gods, or Force. And that is... Hey... That's pretty awful because that knocks me around. Hey, I'll try and drink. Stop doing that. Stop it. Stop trying to do a ritual. Please. Guys. You don't understand. Roll out. Drink. Power up. Kick him, that's right, kick the pup right in the face. That's exactly how I envisioned this fight going. One hit and he's dead. There we go. See, it's, it's not difficult. It is a ridiculously easy fight that I made more complicated purely because I was scared. If I was confident going into that fight, we would have been fine, but I wasn't confident that was the issue, and it cost me. So we've got a small doll and the soul of the Deacons of the Deep there. So the small doll is needed to gain access to Irafil. I don't know if it says that on its description. No, it does. Uh, wait. In the legendary old city of Irafil, situated in the Boreal Valley, the Pontiff Sulavan gave this doll to valued subjects so that they might use it to cross the barrier when they return home. 
Listen carefully and you can hear it say, Wherever you go, the moon still sits in Irafil. Wherever you may be, Irafil is your home. So, as you can see about the barrier, if we try to go to Irafil, we can't gain access because of the barrier. But with this doll, we can. So that's not until quite a fair bit into the future, but... You know what, it's done. Now, if we rest at this bonfire, a piece of treasure will appear behind us. And it's a piece of treasure you guys might like. You see... It's the Pope. And if we take this, we get his outfit. Now, you see his really long, uh, cleric... Um... Staff. I don't think you can actually get that. Which is a shame. Anyway, we have 20,200. And that's going to do it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Tune in tomorrow for more Project Ozone and Banu Vazak. For now, though, goodbye.